Hello all, this is Julie for Inspiring Comfort. Now it's time that we get to take everything that we learned from our lessons from the dogs and we get to apply it. Today, we're specifically going to expand our circle of comfort. So we're gonna go out of our homes and we're gonna start looking in our neighborhood. So let's go over to our pause to look, see, and remember. And let's think a little bit. Let me switch my camera here. Let's think a little bit about who in our neighborhood might be hurting. So as we pause to look back at our Pause to Comfort book, one of my favorite lessons in the book is right here that dogs always bring joy. They don't take life too seriously. They know when to comfort, but they also know when to lighten the mood. They can do something so silly that you can't help but laugh, even when you're at your lowest. And for those bits of laughter, we love them even more and love to have them around. You can bring joy too. That's from our Pause to Comfort book. So how can we bring joy to our neighbors? Well, we have these wonderful comfort plaques that we can utilize and we can create and make something to give to a neighbor who might be hurting. So I have my pause to look, see, and remember. It's, it's a list that I keep of people that I want to remember, that I want to think about, and maybe even create a plaque for. So today, I'm going to create a plaque for my friend Sherry. It's her birthday month, and I want to lift her spirits because it's been really, really hard in her household this month. They've just been having a lot of stress lately. If you can think of anything that could go wrong, it seems to be going wrong for them. So I wanna take this time to pause and think about Sherry and create something for her. So the first thing I'm gonna to do to create is I'm gonna get my worksheets out. I have my pause for thought sheet. Now I always print mine on two separate sheets of paper, but you can print them and sometimes for worksheets, you'll find them actually front to back. For this purpose, we're going to actually do each worksheet because I'm using Sharpie so you can see. You can see I've already started to fill this out just for time's sake. So today we are going to make our plaque for my friend Sherry. Why do they need comfort? They need comfort, she needs comfort because she's feeling defeated. Now I should tell you, my neighbor Sherry is a distance away. She's not my next door neighbor. She used to live here in town. She was my neighbor as a substitute teacher and what a, a substitute teacher I could always count on to be there for me whenever I needed her. So right now she's away, she's feeling defeated in things that are happening. And so I just want to be able to give her some comfort today. In identifying things that would make the plaque special for her, Sherry's entire life revolves around coffee. And then our worksheet asks, how will the plaque be delivered? Yep, I'm gonna have to mail it. Um, we're gonna flip over to our back side. And, oh, you know what? Let's draw our picture first. You can probably see some of my pencil lines, but today's theme of our plaque is joy. Just like dogs can bring us joy, our plaque is gonna bring joy. So one of my favorite plaques that I make is find the joy in everything. It's a favorite. I love making this plaque and it's amazing how much response, how much positive response I actually get from this plaque. But you can also personalize it specific for 
who you want to make your plaque for. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I am going to space out, oh, I want that to be a capital T. Do you see why, do you see why we use our sketch? We wanna make sure that we're planning everything out, make sure words are spelled right, make sure that things kind of line up on our plaque before we go to that beautiful painted wood plaque. Okay, so I know I want to find the joy, and I'm going to start very slowly. I'm probably one of the slowest people when it comes to writing in cursive to make it pretty. I'm a scribbler, so maybe we'll put a swirly in there too. And then we're going to put, find the joy, oh, maybe we can take the Y that, I'm a little close to the bottom. I wonder if I'll do the same thing over in the other. That's kind of fun though, isn't it? Putting those tails down. And then we're going to make our coffee cup. So if I make the rim of the cup, so there's the, the cup itself, and then maybe we add that. We're gonna put, I'm gonna put some coffee in here. And wouldn't it be fun to have some swirls Oh, I love swirls, guys. I do. But then I think it might be fun to maybe have a few hearts around here too, because I want Sherry to know I'm sending my love to her. Maybe even my coffee cup needs a great big heart on it. I could even dot my eye. Yeah, I'm back in junior high now. I'm gonna dot my eye with hearts. Um, as I kind of space this out though, one of the things I think I'm gonna do is I'm going to move in over because that way my sentence reads all the way across. There's no confusion in what direction that I'm reading. Do I sound like a language arts teacher right now? And an art teacher? Yeah, maybe, perhaps. Okay, so there's my design idea. The first thing we're gonna do though before we put that design on our plaque is we're gonna write on the back of our plaque. So we have the back side of our pause for thought sheet. There are suggestions up here on what do you think they're thinking? How does life look like from their eyes? What are their favorite, what are your favorite things about this person? Do they need comfort or encouragement? And how can you make them feel seen and understood. So don't forget to address your plaque to make it personal. So instead of just dear Sherry, mine is actually going to say my dearest Sherry. Don't forget to date your plaque. I think it's always good to keep track of when you are sending a message to somebody. And then our message today is going to be, keep looking for the joy in every day. I'm also adding, I send all my love and hugs to you whenever you feel defeated. I want her to know I'm always there for her, even though I am quite a distance away. One of the other things I love to do is I love to add quotes to the back. So I researched quotes on joy. And so we're also going to add a quote on here. I already have it penciled on. Can you guys kind of see? Um, I even pencil my note on the back because I wanna make sure that everything is gonna fit. 
I don't like surprises when it comes to this, and I don't like wasting plaques. So here we go, nice and neat. Oh, and I'm even gonna change this to my sweet Sherry. She is the sweetest lady ever. So keep looking. for the joy. In every day. I send all my love and hugs to you whenever you feel defeated. So then my quote that I'm going to write, hmm, I have to turn my plaque a little bit here for the, for the light. Participate joyfully in the sorrows of the world. We cannot cure the world of sorrows, but we can choose to live in joy. And that is said by Joseph Campbell. I just think that that's a phenomenal saying. So don't forget to sign your name because you want this to be personal. That's the point of giving comfort, isn't it? So now we're gonna turn the plaque over. I've already taken my pencil and drawn, just for time's sake, and drawn my design onto my plaque. I chose this awesome teal color. I love turquoise. I know Sherry loves turquoise. So I thought this would be the perfect color for her. So I've drawn things on in pencil already. You can kind of see that there. And now I'm gonna go right to my Sharpie pens. Now I could start drawing directly with my Sharpie and taking colors on top of it. One of the issues there though, is that it can mix those colors in, especially if you want to use white. So I am gonna start with white and I am, oh, remember, I, I did pre-shake my Sharpie oil pens and we're going to kind of dab it to make sure that it's working okay. And you want to think about where your hand is as you're working, okay? So I'm going to do find the, Joy is going to be in, and Joy is going to be in 
a different color. But I think I want to have, oh no, I think I'm gonna have a blue mug too. I want a blue mug. So I'm gonna take my light blue. I'm gonna make sure again, oh, you guys can't see me dabbing. I'm just dabbing this up and down to make sure that the, that opaque color, we talked about that last week, it kind of mixes some of that, that white into the paint so it shows up on any color of the paint. So I'm going to take my cup And you might see, okay, it doesn't really show up that well, but that's okay. I usually start with my lighter color and then I go back and I'll add something so that it sticks out a little bit more. But for right now, I just wanna make sure I get my cup in there. And I am going to start my word joy. Don't forget to take breaks and move your hand. Take your time, guys. I can't emphasize that enough. Take your time. Now, my letters look really, really thin right now. And so I wanna make sure I can go back and kind of thicken up some of those letters. So I am going to widen that side. I think I wanna make this side just a little bit wider as we come down and around. And we'll make this a little bit wider. See how you can go several times over the same space? I'm going to widen the bottom of my O. Kinda of looks like a U in there, doesn't it? I'm going to widen my Y. I'm going to widen coming out this way and coming out this way. So I think we're still gonna have to add some more color in there though, because it's really light on our plaque. <clears throat> but that's okay. I like starting with light colors. Now, I did a heart on her mug. So we're gonna add our heart there. We can come back with that light blue and let's add a little bit of color here and kind of fill this in. And we can add some darker colors then. Okay, let me test my, my dark blue here. And this is where we're gonna come around and add a little bit more to the outside of our mugs, just so that we can see it, okay? And then maybe we can even add some shadows coming around here. Color some in here. And maybe go around that heart just a little bit more so that it really stands out. I'm trying not to cross over into too much of the colors because it'll pull it through the paint, okay? And then we're gonna take our, our white and we're gonna add our steam. I can't quite make it as swirly because remember the size of our pens can make it a challenge. 
Now I do want to show you, you can use regular Sharpies on your plaques too. Just to draw and start adding some color. Do you notice though, it's not quite as bright, but you have a lot more control over what you're doing. We're going to go back with our dark blue now. And we're going to start adding some more. To our joy. Do you see how some of that color picks up or scratches? And that's okay. We're starting to add some of those accents. Okay, so there's some accents. We can still go back. You know what, I want to add some more dark color in here. We're going to add some more dark colors in here. Oh, I need to get some more juice going. Got to get that pen going again. And you might just have to go over things just a couple of times just to make sure it starts to go. And then the last thing we can do is we can add a little bit of white on some of our edges. Oh, watch your hand. Look at my hand. Luckily, I don't think I smeared my plaque, but remember, you gotta watch where your hand is so you're not smearing stuff. It's disappointing getting all that work done and then have something smear. We're just gonna add some little accents here. You might see where some of it will kind of blend. Some of the colors will kind of bleed through and that's okay. I got some blue paint on my pen, so I'm just gonna wipe that off. Oh, I got a great big blobby blob. And then I'm gonna come over here I'm going to finish my plaque. Oh, I almost did my heart. Okay, so we have find joy in everything. Now I love just to finish things off. I always love to add metallics to my plaque. So first of all, my first metallic is going to be in my coffee. Because if you're like me and Sherry, that coffee is gold to our life. And then I can take some gold, and again, just add some gold accents. I'm just gonna come underneath and down my side. Oh, I stuck my hand in sticky again. We have to be careful, careful, careful. 
Oh, I'm going to go inside my O2 just so that we can make sure that we see that. So find the joy. I want some gold down around my swirly too. And then I can add I'm going to add a gold line here. I stuck my hand in my white paint on my paper. I'm going to put my white line there and I am going to come back with my red sharpie. Make sure that it's working okay and I am going to add another heart up here. I'm going to add another heart down here. Oh, look at that hand. Oh, Got to be careful. All right, so take your time. Find the joy. And then once this is all dry, I'm going to package it up and I'm going to put it in the mail. But remember, the last part of this is pause to give take the time. Right now I know it's really hard to go visit, but if you're mailing, take the time to follow up. Send a text, make a phone call, show them that you're really there for them, even from a distance. Thank you guys so much from my studio to your home. I'm going to send it back to you, Jen. God bless you all.